Flash may no longer be supported in browsers, but that doesn't mean you can't still play some Flash games in other ways. Today, we'll visit two and a half ways you can play Flash games now that browser support has officially ended. First off, we have Blue Maxima's Flashpoints. This program is one that you install to your computer, and you have the option of downloading all of their games or just installing the clients and downloading games as you are interested in them. Of course, links to the installers will be in the description down below, and they should be pretty straightforward to install. Once you've installed Flashpoint Infinity, you can open it up from wherever you extracted it, and you'll see this screen. To find all the games and all the animations, it's all available here in the Quick Start. As you can see, there's a ton of games here supported by Flashpoint Infinity, and it is understandable considering their role as an internet conservator similar to Internet Archive. They're conserving Flash-specific content, though, rather than, well, like, the whole internet. One thing that is pretty interesting is they even have some incredibly rare titles, such as the games from Nabisco World. So if you see here, we have Nabisco World Publisher and all of the games from the Nabisco World website. So I can simply click on this, click over here to play, and then here we see it's the Nabisco World game. So I can hit start. It's opened it up in its own Flashpoint Shockwave projector, which is very similar to uh, the one from the OG Flash. But I can, uh, well, shoot these cookies and experience the Nabisco life. So yeah, the importance of preserving Flash is pretty important, and Flashpoint is definitely doing a great job in that direction. You can see with all the games that they have and all the animations that they have, they definitely have not been dragging their feet in regards to this matter. While Blue Maxima's Flashpoint was great, we do sometimes want to play our browser games in browser, which is why we have Ruffle. Ruffle is a Flash emulator built in Rust, which means it is supported by browsers post-Flash. Many websites have switched over to it, and one big one that you can see is Internet Archive. So Internet Archive uses Rust to allow you to play many classic Flash games and Flash animations in their catalog. Let's see this Badger 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 animation. As you can see, the UI has a somewhat more specific feel, for the Ruffle emulator, but once you click begin, it downloads the stuff, there it is, Ruffle. And... Badgers! Yes, so... Internet Archive is using Ruffle. Many other sites, including Newgrounds, have chosen to switch over to Ruffle. Armor Games has also chosen to adopt Ruffle for the games that they have not been able to convert over to HTML5 or to other web-friendly platforms. But, nonetheless, there's been a ton of conversions over the years of many of the existing games to non-Flash platforms, so you shouldn't be too concerned about your games being impossible to play. If you're curious to hear more about Ruffle and the original program Swivel, which I actually used for my video series, uh, links will be in the description for this podcast from Newgrounds, talking with the creator of Ruffle about the emulator. Pretty interesting stuff. Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, all of the Chrome extensions that say they enable Flash still require the browser-based Flash to work, so they are viable solutions, at least for now. They may require some more experimentation and they may get there, but as it currently is, I don't believe they're very reliable. If Ruffle isn't quite working out for you and you have some Flash games or animations saved to your computer, Newgrounds actually made a Flash player that, while it was supposed to integrate into the website with the introduction of Ruffle, is not needed anymore. But you can use this to play Flash games and Flash content locally if Ruffle doesn't work. Ruffle does have a desktop application that would also serve this purpose if you don't want to use the browser version, but options are options, so there's a third option. So yeah, those are the methods that I'm sure will work, 
Of course, if you don't know which games to start off with, feel free to check out the rest of my videos this year where I played many Flash games to revisit the nostalgia and the exciting times. Links to all of these tools will be available in the description down below. I'm Demoblah, and thanks for watching Flash Friday. Toodles!